Hello everyone and welcome back to another build challenge. <laughs> Recently I did the each room is a random size challenge and I had a comment on that video from Evan Allaire I think is how he said, which says each room is two different colours and it's a good idea. I love to make things harder for myself, evidently. So that is what I'm going to try and do today. Hopefully it doesn't take me forever and doesn't stress me out too much. Okay, so I'm going to be building a tiny house today because it's two colours for a room. I'm not going to have that many rooms because I don't have that many colours. So I'm here in Newcrest, sandwiched between two of my other builds. So yeah, let's continue to destroy this neighbourhood. So I have 12 colours on my trusty colour picker wheel. I don't know if I should call it trusty, actually. So I'm going to pick two colors for the exterior and then two each for five rooms so that should be 12 colors in total um so i'm first going to build a shell and um then i will pick two colors for the exterior so i'm thinking i'll do kitchen and dining combined living room two bedrooms and a bathroom okie dokie all right, now let's put a roof on this thing, which is always one of the most difficult parts. It looks exactly the same as the house next door. Oh no. This having a different roof will make it look a little different from, from next door. Okay, that's not too bad. Oof, what do I do here? I don't know, maybe I made this a little smaller. Somehow. What does that do for roofing? <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> yeah, right, okay. So we've got a floor plan and a little shell. So now it's time to randomize two colours. For the exterior of this house, I'm not even going to say anything because I know it's just going to end badly if I do. I'm like, you know, no, shh. Black. Hmm. Black and it'd be funny if it was pink, wouldn't it? Black, pink in your area, literally. I kind of want, I want a dark color because black and a light color, I really don't know how it's going to look. Oh, black and brown. I always get told that you shouldn't put black and brown together, but I don't think that's necessarily accurate. But anyway, this house is gonna look deceptively normal on the outside. <laughs> Let's start with the roof. I'm gonna get a black roof and then I'll do some brown, something, wallpaper. It does make the roof look more brown, but tempted to make it into like a cabin because it just that that's what it looks like honestly the fact that I'm struggling this much with the front door is not a very good sign maybe if I give it a blacker roof it might blend in a bit more yeah I think that is maybe gonna look a little less brown I think once I put windows in it's just gonna look a bit better I'm gonna do the same thing that I did last time and make the doors the same color as like the outside because it's a common thing that's kind of odd why do I do that <laughs> like maybe it's a diagonal okay there we go give them a bigger front door there we go all right windows time I'll put it be quiet oh my gosh have a nice natural light in the rooms. Yeah, that's not looking terrible. It's kind of black. Blackish brown. Yeah, that kind of illuminates the front door. Okay, I think I've finally hit on something that I don't hate. Alright, okay. Now I'm just going to get a fence. I might just get a couple of trees in the back. Because I don't know what's going to count as brown in landscaping. I might just have the one tree, actually. Like, it kind of fits in the area, so... 
I'll just stick with that. I guess we need a mailbox and also a bin. This one. Seasonal mailbox. And then I have a little, a little place for a bin out here. Put just there. You could get the birthday hot dog. You know what? Why not? <laughs> if there's any occasion we're going to use the birthday hot dog, I feel like <laughs> this is a good one. Edges and we can grill. There. There we go. I've got some some outdoor stuff. Try and make up for their complete lack of landscaping. Let's move on to the inside. First, let's do the living room. Orange. Oof. What colour would I want to go with orange? Maybe like dark blue, I think, or dark green. I like orange, it just like, it only goes with a certain few colours. Dark green. Oh, usually when I do this challenge, I go for the um, parquet flooring. And I like it, I like the parquet flooring, it's fun. Look, I'll have like this one here, and then I'll have a little subtle saucer light for like the front kind of entrance. I don't think we're gonna be able to get a TV after all that. Oh, we can get a penguin TV. Look, this penguin is orange. <laughs> all right, we'll get this. Oh my god, it is very cute. Although maybe one of these would make more sense. Yeah. I might get a painting for behind it though. Or at least some kind of wall decoration. The only problem is it has to be dark green. Oh. These have dark green. That one's orange. There we go. Oh, it's beautiful. Alright, let me just drag this out to the front. Oop. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Oh, she's interesting. I kind of want a more vibrant couch than that. It's not bright enough. Which is something that I don't think I would usually say. That one does look quite comfortable too. <laughs> the Penguin TV sticks out so much, but it's fine. This room is so much. Oh, this bright orange phone and keys. Look at that. Beautiful. I suppose like greeting cards work. There we go. Okay, I think this is the finished living room. <laughs> we have a penguin TV, um, this like wall of plants, a little cross stitch kit with a chair, a nice big sofa or lounge as I would call it, bookshelf. Some entrance based stuff like the cards, mirror, phone, little plant, and a calendar. And I mean, it's not my usual taste, but it's interesting. Okay, the first kitchen dining colour is going to be white. That's that's good. Let's just see what what we need to pair it with. Oh, okay, white and pink. Oh, I could do this pendant lamp. Oh, that's really cute. All right, I'll put one of those there and then I'll get a different light for like the kitchen. I'm using quite the combination of lights in this build. Oh, I could do this one. Yeah, Oof, it's very white and pink, but and that's like the whole point. That is so cute. So pretty. I want it. I'm gonna get it. Yeah, I think I'll just do these ones because then the gold handles match the gold on the fridge. And I do quite, quite like these cupboards because they have plates in them. I know there's just something about that that I like. Do we have a white fire alarm? Nope. Okay, well. Living life on the edge. 
I don't think there's going to be like a lot of people living in this house so we can get a small table. Okay, there's our kitchen. It's got a little bit of gold in there. That's fine. Oh, maybe I'll hang something on the wall here. Well, that's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oh, and we can get some curtains. I forgot about the curtains. I love these curtains. They're so pretty. Oh. Cute pink and white kitchen. That's really cute. I like it. Alright, next room is our little bathroom here. Yellow. Okay. Now what could go with yellow? Maybe light blue. Purple at a stretch. Also dark blue. Oh god. No. <laughs> Yellow and red. Well, <sighs> may as well get on with it. For yellow, you could kind of pick yellow gold. It's it's like a sensible bathroom light. Oh jeez. Well, okay. Yellow toilet, red sink. I'm gonna move this window over. Bloop. Lovely window above the toilet. <laughs> Maybe a red towel and a yellow bathroom. Let's squeeze that in front of the bath. Now it's just like under the sink. Just pretend it's not. Could look worse, I guess. Do this bedroom next. We've only got four colours to choose from. We're just deciding the colours for the rest of the rooms. Right, so first bedroom. It's all cool colours. I think I've run out of warm colours. Okay. Light blue. Imagine if it's light blue and dark blue. Then it'd just be completely a completely blue room. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I suffered through the red and yellow bathroom so I could have this moment. Light blue and dark blue for the first bedroom and then light green and purple for the second bedroom. We could do some carpet. Maybe this one. Yeah, kind of want a double bed. There has to be like extremely blue. I'm gonna say it's like two roommates who like live together so I'm just gonna scooch the bed into the wall. We could have this. Yeah, why not? Bit of visual interest. We <laughs> give them the flip flop lights. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, you're getting flip flop lights now. Well, that's what I would call them. Fun lights. Okay, I'm gonna call this room done. <laughs> the flip flop lights are so funny. The sun setting, so I actually need better lighting myself. So let me just let me just fix that. All right. Gonna have to be that one. <laughs> That's got purple flowers on it, so perfect. I know that's it's kind of fun. Oh, I just these details are so cute, and I just never, never look at them. Oh, that's purple and green. That's cool. Just put it there, because then you can't see <laughs> the thing that's hanging off. I could do a hanging plan, I suppose. I mean, it's green. <laughs> it's kind of an interesting place for it. Okay, I think that's that's done. Let's go for the tour. Let's do it. Okay, here is our little house. Um, we have a black and brown exterior. We enter into this orange and dark green living room. Um, I do quite like the entrance space, I think. I think that's pretty cute. The penguin TV just, oh, it's so funny. All right, and here is our pink and white kitchen, which I think turned out really nicely. Um, I've never used the like Realm of Magic appliances before, but they're really pretty. That is floating, but I'm just gonna ignore that. 
Okay, so next door is the bathroom, which is yellow and red, um, which was certainly a choice that I did not make. Anyway, um, next to that in this like little hallway is the blue bedroom. It's light blue and dark blue, so it's just like blue, 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 blue. Um, wow, that curtain is clipping into the ceiling. Not meant to do that. Anyway, here's the mirror. Pretty cute, pretty cute. Okay. And here, through this door, is the light green and purple bedroom. I really like this bedroom. Now that vase, that vase is floating too. I'm gonna have to fix that. And this is a really cute bedroom. Um, I know I like this corner with the mirror and the plant. It's nice. Not my, you know, favorite color scheme, but it's fine. And then come out the back door. Do come around. We've got a tree, we've got a table, there's a grill there. And we've got a couple of planters and the hot tub. <laughs> Here it is. Um, it's a tier three tiny home. Um, so she's 95 tiles. Um, I will put it on the gallery just like I have these two builds that are next to it. So you can just get, you can get the whole street if you want. Um, I don't think it was that bad. Um, <laughs> it was definitely interesting. We've ended up with some color combinations like red and yellow that I usually would absolutely not put together, but I think it's a fun, it's a fun house. Fun, a house that is fun. Not a fun house like the pink song. That is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to Evan for suggesting this challenge. It was interesting and I had a good time. So if you enjoyed watching this, uh, remember to like the video and also you can subscribe for free. Um, if you wanted to support me on Patreon or Ko-Fi, those are both linked in the description. Especially with like the new expansion pack coming out, which I can't really afford at the moment, any donation would be really helpful <laughs> in terms of me making new content. Because this is the last video that I am filming and uploading before the infant update comes out. So in my next video, I will be exploring <laughs> that. <laughs> I hope you have a great next couple of days and that you are all well and that you have a great time with the infant update when it comes out in a few days. Um, and I will see you with another video very soon. Bye everyone! <laughs>